Hello Samurai, thank you for joining me on the ride to Night City. My name is Mista and today we're gonna talk about weapons in Cyberpunk 2077 and all we know about them so far. If you love Cyberpunk like I do, consider subscribing and ring that bell so you don't miss any future uploads. Disclaimers, I am not a Cyberpunk guru by no means. I also get my lore and all that deep dive in the Cyberpunk world from other YouTubers like the Mad, Mad, Mad Queen Show, the Last No Meal, Neon Arcade. I have the link them in the description below. Check them out. Amazing people know so much about Cyberpunk and not only the game, also the pen and paper, the, the, the whole story. I am passionate about Cyberpunk so much, so I'm contributing on my own way, give you my own take about stuff I'm particularly interested in. So enough rumbling, let's dive right into the video. There are 12 manufacturers split in three tiers, the top, middle and lower tiers of weapons. Top tier manufacturers are Japan, Sara Arasaka and Tsunami Defense Systems. Both provide top quality, high tech firearms and the new contender, the Chinese corporation Kang Tao, the emerging leader in smart technology weapons. Mid tier manufacturers are more diverse and American corporations lead in that category. Militech, the famous rival of Arasaka, is focused on mass-produced mid-quality military spec firearms. Midnight Arms excels at heavy weaponry, mainly Borg weapons. Malorian Arms is struggling to keep up because they haven't released a new model since 2043, but they are still considered to be the iconic producer of reliable handguns. Tektronica is known for their high-tech consumer weapons, recently expanded their range to include military robots, which earned them the nickname of Russian Militech. Constitutional Arms make excellent shotguns and machine guns. In the low tier we have Nokota who is a producer of inexpensive arms that are still reliable and powerful. The India based Dara Polytechnic is the one who you choose if you want style over quality. Serbian Rostovic or Rostovic weapons are cheap, simple and highly customizable. And if you are brave enough you can try some budget arms 3D printed kits. Power weapons are classic firearms that use conventional cartridges of various types and calibers. Tried and trusty they are character by their high rate of fire and significant recoil. They are very popular among civilians, law enforcement officers and military personnel. The power category includes all kinds of firearms from cheap and unreliable polymer one-shots and primitive but effective revolvers and shotguns to brand new precisely engineered automatic pistols, submachine guns, assault rifles and machine guns. Tech weapons are firearms that incorporate railgun technology firing solid high-velocity projectiles that are propelled with an electromagnetic charge. Although they have a slower rate of fire than other firearms, they more than make up for it with their awesome range and penetrating power. Tech weapons utilize caseless ammunition, which is able to penetrate most personal armor and even vehicle armor when subjected to prolonged charge. Smart weapons employ gyrojet technology to fire caseless guided ammunition. Not many people know that the technology was actually pioneered over a century ago in the 1960s in anticipation of orbital space battles but was quickly abandoned due to the unreliability. We've come a long way since then and smart guns now are true cutting edge instruments of death, precise and efficient. Smart guns connected with their operators through implants, usually a smart grip, they use a laser or sonic targeting system to scan their targets and predict its movement. Once fired, the gyroject projectiles can adjust their trajectory to anticipate the target's movements. Bork weapons. Bork is the colloquial term for subcategory that includes power and tech weapons that are designed to be wielded and used only by heavy augmented users. They usually require a special cyberlimb full body conversion or assisted combat personnel armor. These weapons are especially popular among the heavily cyber modded mercenaries and members of infamous police psycho squad melee weapons punks on the streets almost always carry a melee weapon of some sort like steel pipes wrenches screwdrivers or hammers but they are next to useless against a cyber augmented or armored foe there is the elegant katana or mono knife you can use and also upgrade them with some exotic attachments like a neurotoxin coating or an emp discharge 
charger. The most expensive melee weapon are cyberware like the reinforced knuckles, the deadly nano wire, and the iconic mantis blades. Last but not least, we have the attachments and ammunitions. They are attachments like optic sights, suppressors, front grips, or even grenade launchers can be installed on different firearms on modular slots. Almost every gun has a few of them. Ammunition is like weapons. You choose the right tool for the right job. For example, if there is a cyber freak with mantis blades walking towards you to kill you, shoot some EMP rounds on him and see his cybernetics fail. You can set gangers on fire with incendiary rounds or cover them with ballistic acid. Weapon rarities, we have five of them, common, uncommon, rare, epic and legendary weapons. Weapon characteristics, we have DPS, damage per second or damage per shot, PNT, penetration, ACC, accuracy, ROF, rate of fire, and three more stats, the recoil, spread and range. We have then damage types, a physical, thermal and chemical, and an electrical damage type. Let's take a look at the power weapons we know so far. First, we have the Tsunami Nue, looks like a standard pistol we get when we start the game. Then we have the SDR-22, appears to be a traditional assault rifle. The Carnage Budget Arms Pump Action 4 Gosh Buckshot Shotgun. The unnamed Shaun of Shotgun, we'll also get a look at the Shaun of Style Double Barrel Shotgun in the Night City footage. The Arasaka HJSH-18 Masamune, named after the famous Japanese Japanese swordsmith. We get a short glimpse of the reload animation for this rifle which comes with a handy scope on top. Constitutional Arms M2067 Defender, mainly intended for corporate security but it's very popular among civilians as well. The Militech M10AF Lexington, it is from the cosplay guide, it's a 9mm pistol that can swap between single shot and full auto. Now in the smart weapons category we have the Kang Tao Type 41 epic weapon, the DB4 Palika, the TKI 20 Shingen SMG submachine gun from Arasaka, burst fire micro guided missile smart weapon require a smart link to unlock the full potential of their targeting systems. The G58 Dian Kang Tao from the cosplay guide has an integrated mug rail module and a smart target tracking computer. The L69 Zuo from Kang Tao is an octobarreled shotgun that has an ability to lock on to 8 targets at once and fire simultaneously dealing minimal damage to all targets or focus all the shots to a single target dealing massive damage. Next we have the tech weapons and the Tsunami Nekomata. It's a sniper rifle, semi-automatic, chargeable, APDS, steel ammunition, pierces concrete like cardboard. Next we have the Militech M31 A1 tech rifle which was renamed to M179 Achilles in the latest Tools of Destruction video. Then we have the DB2 Satara Tech Shotgun. An electric double barreled shotgun fires slowly and ejects after each shot but packs a serious punch. On the melee weapons we have the Thermal Katana from Arasaka with nanofilm and heated blade and no add-ons or modifications. Then we have the Industrial Sledgehammer, it's heavy hitting 200 melee weapon, can be picked up after Sasquatch throws it at you. The Neurotoxin Combat Knife was developed for protection against deep sea wildlife but it gained popularity amongst assassins. On the cyberware category, we have the legendary iconic Mantis Blades from Arasaka, modular design with swappable blade edges. We have then the Gorilla Arms from Arasaka, outfitted with kinetic energy recovery system, improving both strength and endurance. Then we have the projectile launch system from Arasaka with varied warhead selection. And last we have the nano wire, kill, stealthy, slice or hug people, whatever you fancy. Lastly, we have some weapons which I couldn't be sure what category they belong to. The Federal Arms Vindicator is a fully automatic pistol and it has a ricochet targeting system available for upgrade later in the game. We have a grenade from one of the gameplay demos, we have a assault rifle called Genesis, we have no more further information on that and then something that looks like a sniper rifle, it's called O5. Then we have the Malorian Arms Gun from the World of Cyberpunk 2077 book. Then we have an assault rifle and an unknown revolver from the deep dive 
promotional video. And last we have the Militech Saratok from the Cosplay Guide. That is all we know about weapons so far, good people. Let me know in the comments below if I miss any weapons or if uh, you know something more and more details about the weapons I mentioned. Please let me know in the, in the comments. I'm going to uh, take that information and use that. On the next video, I'm going to be doing part two when the game is out. And I'm going to do a more detailed video about all the weapons and builds and, and what attachments you can use and what weapon and how they will impact the specific uh, equipment and weapon. So stay tuned for that as well. Subscribe and ring that bell if you don't want to miss any future videos like that. And don't forget, hit that like button if you like this video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I appreciate you. I am Mr. And I'm going to see you in Night City. Game on, Samurai.